need to find something online? Google it. But what did people do before Google existed? This is the story of the very first search engine. It was 1990, Mariah Carey had just released her first album, and Twin Peaks was freaking people out on TV. Meanwhile, grad student Alan Emtage was building something at McGill University in Montreal that would let people search the internet for the very first time. Part of his job at the School of Computer Science was finding software for other students and faculty. Now, I don't know about you, but manually searching through a university's entire catalog of software kind of sounds like a nightmare to me. So, Emtage wrote some code that would do it for him, and voila, Archie was born. Why Archie? It's archive without the V because that's essentially what the technology was, an archive of file transfer protocol sites, or FTPs. Think of FTP as a system of networked computers that could exchange files. The thing with Archie was there was no way for you to preview what you were about to click on, so you kind of just had to download it to your desktop and hope for the best. Unlike Google, Archie wasn't great at deciphering your vague search terms. Looking for a bowl of fruit? Better turn that down to just fruit. Otherwise you might get ceramic bowls, bowling alleys, bowl cuts, the list really goes on and on. Two search engines that came after Archie? Jughead and Veronica, of course. Fun fact, m actually once said that he hated Archie the comic book character. We're forever grateful to Archie for paving the way for Google. Which reminds me, hey Google, can I drink milk past its expiration date? I'm Jenny Mywin for Mashable.